Hey guys, Adam Lerner here and today I wanted to talk to you guys a little bit more about Lightroom 4 and some of the great new features, um, specifically video. Uh, Lightroom has really made some incredible advancements, particularly with the new process um, and I've talked a little bit about that in some of the earlier videos that I've made, but today we want to talk about video. Now previously if you shot video or captured video, particularly if you captured it on the same card as your images, those images or videos would be brought into your Lightroom catalog, but if you wanted to view them or edit them, you would have to use an external viewer or editor. So for example, on a Mac, if you just double click them, you know, most likely automatically QuickTime would open up. And if you wanted to edit them, you would have to probably export them and then import them into another application. Well, that is no longer the case. Now, what you can do in Lightroom is you can actually edit and you can trim the videos in Lightroom, which is kind of cool. So you can take, you know, different clips and you can trim them and then you can, I guess, assemble them from there. The other thing is that you don't necessarily have editing control specifically in that module, but what you do do is you export a frame of that video that clip that you've imported, you edit it in Lightroom in the in the standard editor, you save that as a preset, then you when you go back into your videos, okay, in the video module, you apply that preset and that will affect that entire clip. It's a little bit clunky, it's a little bit antiquated. I'm not hundred percent sure how much I'm gonna like using it. But I wanted to demonstrate this to you guys so that you could at least see how it works and what better way to do it than with a video. So that's it for now and let's go into Lightroom and see how this works. We are in Lightroom 4 and we are going backwards in time. We're taking that clip that you just watched and I'm going to show you guys how I imported, edited and uh, manipulated that video clip in Lightroom 4, which is brand new because previously Lightroom 3 couldn't do it. So here we go. I'm going to import it. I'm not going to mess with keywords or any stuff like that right now. Just going to bring it into my library. And here we go. It's coming in. Bada boom, bada bing, and copying, copying. Actually, it's probably a pretty big file because it's, you know, full HD vid. Um, so, you know, we'll, we'll just give it a chance. I probably will fast forward over this stuff. Okay, cool. There's our clip. All right. So I'm going to double click over this thing here and look what we got here. We can play it right away. So loading audio. Um, this is all new for me too. So we're going to play into this and here we go. Look at that. All right. So right off the bat, obviously this uh, video is a little cropped tight to my head. Um, but uh, let's not worry about that so much right now. Um, you know, when we were just doing a little bit of playback there, I saw some screen flickering. I'm going to guess that that's probably something to do with this, you know, version of Lightroom and the fact that it needs to be cleaned up. Okay, so what I'm going to do here is I'm going to show you guys some of these new features here. We've got capture frame, we've got set poster frame. We're not going to get to those quite yet. We've also got this trim function right here. And what I want to do is I want to go back to where the video begins and trim it. So let's do that. So look at this. We can scrub it right through here. And let's bring this up here and boom, that's trimmed. So now let's play it. There we go. Now let's go all the way to the end here and we're going to trim it back. That's it for now. And let's go into Lightroom and see how this works. Boom. All right, we're going to trim that right there. Very, very cool. All right, so in addition to being able to scrub through your video and trim the beginning and the end points, you can do a couple other things here. Um, you can set the poster frame. So what that means is that you can scrub through your video and let's say you want to set you know, the frame that's going to appear so that when you're looking at that um, video clip in your library, that's what you're going to see as the poster frame for that clip. So we set poster frame, we hit the G key and there it is. Okay. I'm just going to get rid of this picture right here because we're going to get to that in just a minute. So that's our poster frame. That's what we see. Okay. And which is kind of cool because let's say you shot, you shoot like five or 10 clips of the same type of thing. You can set poster frames so that you understand what those different clips correspond to. Okay. Now, as far as if editing this, this clip beside trim, if you want to like change like 
the tone, the contrast exposure, the only place you can do that is in the quick develop module over here, okay? Now, if we want to do any kind of these changes right here, we can affect, you know, the white balance, temperature, the tone, the exposure, contrast, and we can make, you know, kind of these broad stroke adjustments, okay? The other thing that we can do is that we can, you know, apply saved presets to this, okay? And, you know, I've got all these different presets in here and whatnot, okay? Now, there's, there's another thing that we can do that's really kind of crazy is that what you can do is you can say capture a frame. So let's say we capture this frame, okay? Now, look in our film strip. We've got this frame here. Now, let's just go back for one second. I know we're jumping around, but while in the video clip, if you go into the develop module, video is not supported in develop, okay? Go back into the grid mode, but let's just say you took that frame that you captured and you go into the develop module. Boom, you've got a frame out of there that you can develop, okay? Now, what you can do here is that you can make all different kinds of settings and then you can save them as presets just like you would save any other kind of preset or you can obviously export this as an image. So what I did is that I created uh, a little bit while ago, I created this vid high contrast preset, okay? And this is just, just for the sake of this video, um, I don't know that this is something that I would really love to use here, but whatever, okay? Now, if I go back into my video and I go into the grid mode, I can go into saved preset, into ALP, I can select vid high contrast, and you see it says not all the developed settings are supported for video, only the following adjustments from the current develop preset can be applied. So apparently white balance, basic tone, tone curve, color treatment, split toning, process version, and calibration are the only things that can be applied. So let's uh, go into here now and let's look at that. And let's just see how this video looks now. So look at that. We've got the, the, the high you know, contrast thing applied to it. I can also go into here and I can just say, you know what, I'm not too into that. I want to do the BW tone mantle, black and white tone mantle. Boom. And look at that. I've now got black and white. And you know, that looks kind of cool for photos, but let's make it even more edgy, you know? So we'll pump the exposure up here. We'll pump up the contrast. You know, we'll make the black point a lot, you know, harsher, bring up some whites. We'll just make it kind of look a little bit, you know, edgy and weird, whatever. Why not? Be, you know, because we can. And let's look at this. And that's how I'm going to leave it. So basically, the way that it works is that when you're editing video in Lightroom 4, you can adjust the beginning and the end points of your video clips um, very easily with the trim selector. You can... Uh, affect you know the overall look with the quick develop uh, adjustments or you can either steal a frame and adjust it and then apply presets from that frame or you can apply the existing presets that you guys have i know it seems a little bit crazy but you know really get into it take some of your clips mess with them see how it goes if you have any questions or comments please leave them below and we'll see you soon